Welcome to the Caro Show channel. The economic and technical potential of China today is higher than ever. Perhaps that is why the development of science in the celestial empire does not go step by step, but rather leap by leap. The country bravely fights for the implementation of the most incredible projects, satisfying its love of gigantomania. In this video, we will talk about China's most daring mega projects that take your breath away. Enjoy watching. The Beihen Hydropower Plant, a dam that is taller than most skyscrapers. In 2017, China began construction on one of the largest hydropower projects in history, the Beihen Hydropower Plant. In just five years of construction, China built a huge wall of concrete across Eurasia's largest river, the Yangtze. The dam itself is 289 meters or 948 feet high, exceeding the height of most skyscrapers. Beihenton Hydropower Plant has a total of 16 domestically produced power units, each with a capacity of 1 million kilowatt. The cost of building the hydroelectric complex is estimated at $26 billion. The largest plant in the Yangtze Cascade is the Three Gorges Hydroelectric Power Station, which we will talk about a little later. Beihenton is the second largest, and its 289-meter-high dam covers the Yangtze's upper reaches with a concrete wall. The Beihenin Hydroelectric Reservoir holds 20,627 cubic kilometers of water, which is the size of a small artificial sea. Currently, the list of six large hydroelectric power plants on the Yangtze River, which were built and operated by the Three Gorges Corporation, includes Udong, Beihenin, Silodu, Shanjiaba, Sangxia, and Dizhaba. These hydroelectric power stations are capable of generating 300 billion kilowatt hour of electricity annually which will reduce coal consumption by 90 million tons and carbon dioxide emissions by 248 million tons. Forming a 1,800 km or 1,120 miles clean energy corridor, they also play an important role in flood control, navigation, water management and environmental security in the Yangtze River Basin. And this infrastructure monster is the world's largest structure of this type. The viaduct is part of a freight rail route whose official name is Fan Railway Bridge Mengua, which has a length of almost 2,000 kilometers or almost 1,250 miles. It links central and southwestern China with Inner Mongolia. The structure has 216 piers, the tallest pier reaching 74 meters, 242 pounds. The grand structure stretches for nearly 8,000 meters or 26,000 feet. The foundation reaches a depth of 91 meters, 298 pounds. The main product for transportation to the region is coal. The line serves trains weighing up to 20,000 tons, and the planned cargo turnover is 200 million tons per year. Guangzhou Opera House Concrete and steel are the main material of Chinese builders. However, talented architects manage to create masterpieces even from such rough materials. The work of the famous architect Zaha Hadid confirms this vividly. One of her grandiose projects is the Guangzhou Opera House. The building impresses with its area, because it is 70,000 square meters of space, divided into triangles, each of which is a separate room. In total, the building is designed for 1,800 seats. The design demonstrates the fascinating interplay of architecture and nature. Zaha Hadid drew inspiration from drawings of nature, canyons, rivers, gorges, boulders, and mountain slopes. The shape of the opera building was conceived as a stylization of natural stones thrown on the banks of the Pearl River. The construction of the theater, one of the three largest in China, on a par with Beijing and Shanghai, cost $200 million. But could China stop at one giant structure? Of course not. In the city of Harbin in northeast Beijing, another opera house was built. Its architecture also mimics the natural landscape. Thanks to the convex concave configuration of buildings made of white aluminum panels, the architects called the object a sinusoid. The construction area of 79,000 square meters accommodates 1,600 people in the main hall and about 400 people in the small one. The object was erected on a marshy island with an area of 180 hectares, which is connected with the city by a road bridge. According to the architects, the low white wall that surrounds the central square merges with snowdrifts in winter which provides the building with an additional level of merging with nature. The Opera House is the cultural center of the city, a venue for performances and a public platform for theatrical art. 
Chindo Bay Bridge An interesting fact is that China produces and uses about 60% of the world's cement. And between 2011 and 2013, China needed as much cement as the United States used in the entire 20th century. There is a quite obvious question, where does it all go? In front of you is the Qingdao Bay Bridge, the first in the ranking among the longest bridges in the world laid across water spaces, and the fifth in the ranking in terms of total length. The Qingdao Bay Bridge, which cost $2.3 billion to build, is 42 kilometers or 26 miles long. During the implementation of the project, so much material was used that with their help it was possible to build more than 60 Eiffel Towers. The Qingdao Bridge is a major logical hub and one of the most important initiatives of the Qingdao government to improve the city's transport infrastructure and encourage the even development of all its parts. Thanks to the construction of the bridge, it was possible to almost completely unload traffic flows and reduce travel time between regions. One of the most unique construction projects in the history of mankind is the Three Gorges Hydroelectric Power Station in Hubei Province. The construction has become the heaviest on the planet. The weight of the dam is about 65.5 million tons. Work on its creation lasted almost 18 years. The dam is located on the Yangtze River, the largest water artery in China. It was decided to build the dam in 1991 after another flood, the damage from which amounted to about $30 billion. It is noteworthy that the cost of the project, including funds for the resettlement of more than a million people, was estimated at the same amount. Today the dam has 32 power units, six of which are underground. They produce about 100 terawatt hour. To produce that much power, a thermal power plant would need to burn 50 million tons of coal. For all its grandiosity, the Three Gorges hydroelectric power plant is quite simple in design. It is a typical gravity concrete dam with a surface spillway. It took 27.2 million cubic meters of concrete and more than 450,000 tons of steel to construct the dam, which is 185 meters or 606 feet high, and 2.3 kilometers or 1.4 tenths of a mile long. By comparison, it took 85 times less concrete and 7.5 times less steel to build the world's tallest skyscraper, the Burj Khalifa, 828 meters or 2,716 feet. The mountain leveling project can rightly be considered the greatest skill of Chinese builders. You heard right, the Chinese decided not to wait for the natural change of the landscape, but change it with their own hands. The Celestial Empire is facing a shortage of areas suitable for human habitation. Therefore, local authorities are actively leveling the mountains to the ground. The soil and rocks are then used to fill in the valleys, thus adding hundreds of square kilometers of flat terrain to the area of the cities. The Land Sunu area is planned to start with a mining project for which China will flatten another 700 hills. As part of the largest mountain-moving project in history, a construction company will spend $2.5 billion on leveling, making room for a new metropolis. The developers hope the cost and effort will pay off with a new metropolis, potentially able to boost the region's GDP by $27 billion by 2030. But it is still not clear how feasible the project is. Because in order for the soil on the side of the demolished peaks to become suitable for construction work, it is necessary to wait about 10 years. Thanks for watching this video. Write in the comments which Chinese project did you like the most. Subscribe to the Karo Show channel and watch our previous videos. Goodbye.